it's pretty straightforward to get files in and out of our studio. Um, remember, everything's running in the cloud, which is very nice. As you pick up your session on a different browser, it will just pick up exactly where you are. So these files are accessible on the internet. Um, but it means that there is a little bit of an additional step to get things into our studio and to bring them back out. Um, to get things in, um, we can upload files. If I click here on Upload, and I want to go ahead and browse through to find um, where there are some files that I can I can load. I have a version of the help data set um, is uh, available uh, under um, the data sets folder. Here is help.csv. So this is a comma separated file. Um, R can read stuff in lots of different formats. The, um, the five college statistics guide will give you some sense of how to do that. But if I click OK, you'll see now in the files menu, if I navigate to that, on the bottom I have this help.csv. If we click on it, it will actually show it as it is, as a comma separated file. And you can see there are a variety of variable names at the top and then individual rows that have the data. So this isn't actually the easiest way to, to read things. Um, let's go ahead in the existing test R markdown file we had. Um, we had some commands in there. Let's go ahead now and go ahead and replace this by saying read.csv. Read.csv is a command that um, uh, will read a comma separated file. Um, if I can, here's my file option. And there's some different files in there. Let's go ahead and help.csv. So you can see there's lots of command completion and file name completion uh, within, the, within the system. Um, and let's run in a second code block just the names of what's in that data set. So what we're seeing here is an assignment. We're running this function, read.csv. We're reading a file that we've loaded into our studio. Uh, we've saved that as an object called ds. Um, let me go ahead and knit this as a PDF. We'll go ahead and run this for us. And we can now see we've read things in successfully and it's given us this, um, uh, this file. Say we wanted to, you know, to, to export this PDF, um, you know, that's been created for us. Um, this is kind of the other way of dealing with files in our studio. If we go back to the files menu, we'll see there's this test markdown.pdf. If we click on it, a single click, it'll open up the file again for us. Um, but we can also then select it with this check mark and go to the more and then export it. By doing this export, it will be downloaded to a computer in the usual place where your browser does downloads. And at that point, we now have access to it on our machine. Overall, very straightforward to bring files in and out of our studio.